Hello everyone, I'm Sandy Anastasi. I'm a psychic channel, an intuitive astrologer, and a psychic and soul coach. I'm here with my editorial video blog for April of 2023. Folks, last month I talked about Pluto moving into Aquarius. And I promised that this month I'd give you my thoughts on what kinds of things that I think Pluto will bring into all of our lives during the 19 or 20 years it's going to be moving through Aquarius. I also recommended that you keep a journal from March 24th, when Pluto first moves into Aquarius, and June 2nd, when it makes its first retrograde. During that time, you'll be able to get a quick look into the types of things that Pluto will bring into your life over the next 19 to 20 years. What a wonderful opportunity to peek into your own future. So please do keep that journal. I know I am. One of my favorite astrology resource books is Rex Bill's rulership book. Essentially, this book is a simple list of things associated with each sign and also with each planet in the zodiac. Here's a brief list of some of the things that Rex Bill associates with the sign Aquarius. I believe these are many of the things that we're going to see Pluto bringing its magic of transformation to during the next 19 or 20 years. In fact, we're already seeing many of these things being researched and created or transformed. Here's what Rex Bills says about Aquarius. He says it rules acquaintances, friendliness, sociability, and social affairs, including those for highly sensitive people. Also lectures, clubs, architecture, and art. It rules Congress and Senate, freedom of thought and free will. It rules philanthropy and grants. Also, revolution and reform. It rules science, all science, research, exploration, chiropractice, psychology, astrology, nuclear and quantum physics, waves, we're talking about electromagnetic waves, folks. Gases, electromagnetic energy, etheric energy, auras and energy healers, aeronautics, cars, batteries, light and lightning, photography, mechanics, motors, motorcycles, movies, radio, television, and wireless health concerns and research include water, allergies, anemia, the lymphatic system, arteries. This includes hardening of the arteries, weakness of the heart, blood and body fluids, eyes, sight, skin, sensitivity, ankles, shins and legs. There can be special focuses on certain places too, including Brighton, England, or St. Louis, Missouri, Salzburg, Austria, the Holy Land, Palestine, Arabia, Los Angeles, Michigan, Polynesia, Russia, Siberia, and Prussia, also the Pacific Ocean, the Red Sea, the Black Sea, and the Caspian Sea. So we're going to have to wait and see how well Rex Bill identified all of these areas Aquarius deals with. So far, I think he's doing a pretty good job. There have been changes and all kinds of progress in many of these areas, even the geographical ones. We should be adding some things to this list too that I didn't even think existed back when Rex Bill wrote that book. Like, for example, digital currency, cybersecurity, 
Bluetooth wireless technology and all of the amazing inventions that have become part of our everyday lives. These are the things, folks, that are going to transform our world over the next 20 years. Many of these very tools are going to be the things that bring about the future that we have so long seen and been waiting for. I have an open community on my website that you become a member of automatically when you sign up for my newsletter. I do hope that you will join my community and that you will sign up for my newsletter. As you've been reading or watching or listening to this editorial, I would love to hear the thoughts that come to you about what kinds of things you might be expecting in your own life. I'd love to hear what you're putting in your own journal that you're keeping that started on March 24th and you're keeping through June 2nd. I want to get to know you better. And you can do that when you sign up for my newsletter. Automatically, when you sign up for that newsletter, you're going to be invited to my open community. It's a library tab on my website. When you click on that library tab, the open community will pop up and you can share your thoughts with everyone in my community and they can share their thoughts with you. This is a wonderful, safe place to share. And I would so love to hear from you. I do hope you'll join my community. I would love to read your comments about yourself and especially about what you think Pluto and Aquarius will bring into your world. Just go to my website. You'll find me at www.sandyanastasi.com. When you're there, click on the library tab and you'll see the open community listed right there. Click on it and start writing. It's a direct way to connect with me and our other members too. You will be recognized. I'm Sandy Anastasi. I would love to connect with you on my website and also in my psychic hour that I have coming up very shortly. I do one every month and they're always free. You can sign up on my website. Thank you so much for coming by. www.sandyanastasi.com. I'll see you soon.